Good morning, this is Philip Schumacher with the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls with a briefing on the winter storm expected to impact the area from today through Monday. A significant winter storm will impact the area through Monday and winter storm warnings have been issued for much of southeastern South Dakota with the exception of the far southeast and ice storm warnings have been issued for portions of southwestern Minnesota. A winter weather advisory is in effect for much of the remainder of the area with the exception of Storm Lake and Ida Grove. Freezing rain is expected to develop today and continue into the overnight hours over portions of southwestern Minnesota where over a quarter inch of ice will be possible. Meanwhile, later tonight into Sunday and Sunday night, heavy snow will develop and continue into early Monday morning where over a foot of snow is expected west of Interstate 29. In addition to the falling snow, blowing snow will develop on Sunday and continue into Monday afternoon as winds gust over 40 miles an hour. This may make travel difficult to impossible over portions of the region. With the long duration of the storm, we can expect a wide range of weather conditions across the region. First looking in southwestern Minnesota, we're expecting precipitation to begin as a wintry mix this morning, and then temperatures may warm enough to see rain or freezing rain across much of the region during the afternoon hours. But after sunset, as temperatures begin to cool, we will see that rain change back over the freezing rain with some significant ice accumulations expected overnight. As temperatures continue to cool Sunday morning, we'll see the freezing rain mix with and change over to snow by Sunday evening with light snow and blowing snow continuing into Monday afternoon. Meanwhile, west of Interstate 29, including Huron, Chamberlain, and Mitchell, we'll see a light wintry mix of precipitation, including freezing rain and sleet, much of the day today. As the sun sets, we'll see a band of heavy snow develop across the area overnight, and that heavy snow will continue through much of the day on Sunday at, before gradually dissipating to light snow Sunday night and into Monday morning. However, with all the snow expected across the region, we'll see blowing snow through Monday afternoon. Across the Big Sioux Valley, including Sioux Falls and Sioux City, and into Vermilion, we're expecting any freezing rain to end by mid-morning, leaving rain across the region through Saturday evening. Temperature will then begin to cool, and we'll see a wintry mix of sleet, freezing rain, or rain across the area, gradually changing over to snow by Sunday afternoon, with snow and blowing snow continuing into Monday. And finally, for Storm Lake and Spencer, we'll see rain much of the day today and through tonight. Cold air will finally work into the area Sunday afternoon with a wintry mist ex expected, with that precipitation finally changing over to snow Sunday night and continuing into Monday afternoon. Looking at that ice accumulation forecast, we are expecting the greatest ice accumulations over southwestern Minnesota, primarily later this afternoon and overnight, where we could see over a quarter inch of ice through the area. The heaviest ice accumulations are expected to be along the Buffalo Ridge between Worthington and Marshall. With the ice accumulations, we could see some ice accumulate on untreated elevated surfaces, including bridges, and on branches and power lines. This may result in some down branches and even some isolated power outages later tonight into Sunday. In terms of snowfall, we'll see the heaviest snowfall west of Interstate 29, where the band of snow is expected to develop later this evening and continue into Sunday. Anywhere from 8 inches to over a foot of snow is possible west of Interstate 29. However, as you move farther east, due to the delay and when the snow will begin, we'll see lesser amounts of snow with generally 4 to 6 inches around Sioux Falls and only an inch or two of snow around Spencer and Storm Lake. Regardless of where the snow falls, we will see roads become snow covered across the region at various times during the storm with the ha most hazardous conditions expected to be west of Interstate 29 where the heaviest snowfall will be. We're looking for heavy rainfall over portions of northwestern Iowa with this storm as well. Anywhere from one and a half to over two inches of rain is possible. With the ground partially or totally frozen, excessive runoff of that rain is possible and we could see ponding of water in low-lying areas. In addition, it is possible some creeks and streams, including the Big Sioux River south of Sioux Falls and the Little Sioux River, will rise to near or even above flood stage by early next week. Again, we are looking at freezing rain in southwestern Minnesota, which may result in some downed tree branches and power outages through Sunday morning. Meanwhile, farther west of Interstate 29, we're looking at heavy snow and blowing snow developing later tonight which could create hazardous to impossible travel conditions over portions of southeastern and south central South Dakota to the west of Sioux Falls and Yankton. 
Heavy rainfall over northwestern Iowa may result in some area creeks and rivers rising to near or even above flood stage by early next week. If you are planning travel over the next three days, please look at the latest forecast. And if you are traveling across portions of Nebraska, South Dakota, or North Dakota, you may have to delay or even cancel your travel plans until early next week.